Today, I'm going to break down every single attack I do in the Clan War League with the Warden Fireball. Can I go perfect? Or will I mess up one attack? Oh, wait, wait, wait. I made that Warden. I made that invisible. No, no, no. I gotta shoot. We're gonna jump into base number one, which is stars. Well, probably not. It's not stars from Navi, but his name is stars. So we're gonna take him on with the fireball. Yes, I don't have an overgrowth here. I've got a couple invises. Why? Because it should be relatively easy way to target the town hall since there's not too much. So what I'm going to do is drop the warden like this over here. He's going to go through the king with the headhunter assistance, the healers. We're going to do rock loons to here to help take that down. And then we're going to do rock loons over here. An invis to take out this compartment. Invis to take out this compartment. Well, at least that's the plan thinking about it. I'm thinking about it or should I just go straight up overgrowth this should I overgrowth that and then I don't have to worry about it I could just invis this and then boom a fireball that you know okay you know what change my mind it's safer with the overgrowth okay I'm gonna overgrowth both these sides never mind and then we're going to fireball the town hall take it down and then after the overgrowth hopefully hopefully disappears after the warden kind of grabs his value then we move our way like this around the base and then we can sneak in rocky loons after the fact to go snipe the town hall as we just continue to wrap around like that today's video is sponsored by warcraft rumble and check this out look at what i just 3d printed isn't this pretty sick this is Anxia from Warcraft Rumble. It's a character, or actually, I should say a boss that is in Warcraft Rumble that I am trying to slowly make my way to taking on and defeating. But it's gonna take some time, so follow my journey over on my second channel where I am making videos two times a week over there on Warcraft Rumble. I made a guide and a 10 tips on how to get started in the game, so be sure to check that out. And I'm having so much fun, and I can't wait to take on this boss right here. Let me know if you have any favorite minis from that game. And thanks again to Warcraft Rumble for sponsoring this video. And the link to download the game and my second channel are all down in the video description. Now, let's get back to the attack. The Warden will be placed first here. All right, so Warden, and then we'll get you down like this with the Headhunters, some healers like so. Now we'll go with an Overgrowth right here. We'll go with an Overgrowth right here, like so. And then we'll go with a Invis, Earthquake. Invis over here just in case, Fireball and bam oh okay we didn't hit recent monolith that's okay let's go with some rocky loons just out in front of here i was thinking that i could have reached that it's all right never mind that's down anyways now we can push our way to the eagle and this should go down and then we'll uh drop the queen as well she'll make her way maybe to okay we'll just come from the top side that's fine we will go ahead with a wall break like you okay we'll drop a siege barracks over here Drop some regular balloons. So you just kind of path our way through. We'll get the king up here. We'll drop a root rider. Drop an ice golem. We'll drop a headhunter to go into the enemy royal champ. Oh, my queen's taking a lot of damage. Oh, hello. Let's go ahead and make you invisible. Oh, wait, my queen's ability was for. Hello? Why is my queen ability forced here? It's with another root rider. And then let's get you through here, Electro Titan. All right, so we got this coming across. Wall break you. Okay, pulling some traps. Okay, now we can go ahead and with the freeze here. And the Rockaloon should be able to help take out the town hall. And they're working right through it. Perfect, town hall is down. Poison gets launched. We'll just continue our path around. And then we'll drop the Royal Champ to go into the core to the monolith. Drop another rocket loon maybe over here. There we go. Drop, no, I can't drop a wizard. I can drop an archer maybe there. That could possibly work. All right, just keep making our way through, you know? Let's go ahead and make the queen invisible because we want, we don't want the queen to die. She's she's going to be helpful here. And the king's ability is going to be forced. Bounce all the way across. 47 seconds. Come on, king. Drop a wizard onto this cannon. It's not the prettiest, but you know, a three star is a three star. Oh, look, the tornado trap was right down there. And we'll pop the RC ability for those hog riders. And once that multi mortar is distracted, we'll drop that wizard. So 
I was thinking that the fireball was going to reach over to the monolith, but granted, the town hall is a little bit wider, so it wasn't able to reach, but still, we get it done with an overgrowth into the fireball. For day number two here, we're taking on base number four, and if we take a look at this, it's one of these with double invis right in the core. Well, how am I going to take this down? Well, I've got super wizards inside of a blimp that I'm going to be using here. So I'm going to be going with my typical attack, but no fireball on this warden. It's going to be the eternal tome this time. We do have some invises, basically the same main army and the spells, except a different CC, because I'm going to use a queen's giant arrow from the far left side with a line all the way across here. That will activate the invisibility spells. Then we'll drop the warden, some balloons, the blimp, and then the warden internal tome and have the blimp land here. Go with invis, rages, and clear the whole core. And then we'll just run our way around this way and just path our way slowly around. Or we'll just run our, our way around this way and path our, our way around. So just whichever way the kind of the heroes go is how we will react. Okay, let's go. We are in. No waiting around. Okay. So, get this blimp ready. Get the queen. And we got to get the arrow. Okay. So, queen like so. Go with the warden. We got a lot of healers. All right. There we go. Some more balloons. Blimp. And the warden internal tome now to protect that blimp. Okay. We need... To go ahead and let's go earthquake through here. Invis, boom. Let's take all this down. Working right through the town hall. Okay, I'm like, well, where are my super wizards? They kind of like disappeared on me. Okay, they're gonna run over there and die. All right. I got five healers here. Drop another one of you here. I might just drop my healers from my RC at this point, to be honest. Um, all right, so we're gonna make our way around. Let's go with the wall break. Let's go with the king here. Some root riders. Some more rocket loons like this. And we'll just wall break that to allow the... Qu oh, the king's going that way. Okay. All right. Some more uh, rocket loons like this. All right. Let's see if we can try to help take this down. All right, so queen is going around. Not really the way I kind of was hoping for her to go, but out comes the CC. We're gonna go with the invis here. I'm gonna go with the rage. I'm gonna have to deploy some healers. Freeze. All right, we're gonna send the RC through here. Another healer, I guess. Drop a wizard. All right, so we got this activated. Let's go rage you up through here. Pop RC ability. Drop a wizard like this. Okay, it's not the prettiest here. We have two regular balloons. We have a defensive RC up top. All right, let's go and drop some rocket balloons for you. This archer tower to pick that off. Let's drop some regular balloons up here the top side with a headhunter to kind of try to sneak in. All right, headhunter through here. Drop an archer. Okay, slowing you down. Uh, queen. Let's drop a wizard over here. The RC looks like she's going to finish to the left side. Queen needs to get through the wall. 26 seconds. Queen, you got to beat the right wall. Come on, queen. Nothing down to the bottom side. 20 seconds. Wizard off to the right is clutching up. That right side, RC. Oh God! <laughs> um, we did clear this. It should just be enough. I almost I failed the tunnel 60. What? But hey, three star is a three star. Now it's time for attack number three, and we're uh, we're down by two, but they got an attack left, so they two star they win because we unfortunately do have a one star in this match. But this one I have one overgrowth planned here i could one star but let me walk you through the hit okay i want to use the fireball to hit this eagle artillery so what am i gonna do drop the warden right here and then try to use an overgrowth maybe here rocket loons like this use invis here and then get the fireball to go and hit the eagle artillery 
So the problem is, if I do that, these multi-archer towers will be a very annoying. If I did overgrowth it, let's say I overgrowth both sides, it would make each one of them invisible, and the warden will kind of be sitting here, then he would move forward, and then he would be in this spot, having to deal with um, the heroes, and then these would come back, and then the warden have to go. So it would be all over the place. So what I'm rather going to do is I'm going to drop my warden over here to this left side. I'm going to overgrowth this section up here so that the fireball won't go there. Take this down with a rocket loon. Then the warden will continue through uh, this side here. And then we will also go with some rocket loons here. And then this is where we could go in with a uh, invis, something like this. Invis, something like this. Invis, something like this. And then we'll probably have to invis that, so that's full already. And then the fireball will be planned to go for the eagle and take that down, where we could then drop uh, two earthquakes right in the core, which gives us access to the multis, the clan castle, and all this. And then we'll f uh, run around the base like this and finish on this section here, because this is overgrowth, so we'll come back to it at the end. So that's the plan. Let's give it a shot. Okay. We have five invises. Let's hope that's enough. And then we'll go with uh, some rocket loons there. Take out that wizard tower. Some rocket loons onto that. Okay, healers are on you. Okay, that didn't go down. Oh, we got Tesla popping. Oh, we got more Teslas popping. Okay, that's all right. We took out that Tesla. All good. Okay, now let's overgrowth. Overgrowth that and the multi did not get overgrowth. Perfect. So we're gonna go with an invis. Uh invis, invis, invis. And then double earthquake right through here. Oh, I didn't clip that multi. Okay, that's not good, but Alright, let's go freeze this. Let's walk our way in. Trap the king. Siege barracks. Some Root Riders, the Ice Golem, Electro Titan. This is where we can drop a Headhunter in here to slow you down. That multi will be a little annoying, but let's see. Let's take out this Queen. Headhunter slowly takes you down. All right, come on, come on. Make your way through. Now we got a minute 45. We can wall break this section here. Okay. The multi is very low health, so we'll keep that in mind. As we just drop another rocket loon into the core. Let's go drop a rage to rage them up. Okay. Now that uh, Root Rider took some damage. We can wall break here. Oh, that's not a wall. That's an invis on the outside. Okay. Rip to that. Okay. Queen, where are you going? There's the wall break. Ooh, that will give us our queen nice access right through here. Queen. Queen's ability. And then we'll drop the RC. Not yet. We'll let the king. A uh, couple balloons. Pop the king. There it is. Pekka will walk around. 56 seconds. And the Pekka will help secure this town hall. Still have our royal champion. You know, don't have to worry about time. We'll just drop the RC finally. And it will definitely be able to help secure this. So there we go. Okay, I was a little worried when the fireball was just about to go off that it was going to go to like the sweeper that was over there. I did misplace the earthquake and didn't hit that multi, but it's all good. Hop the RC, finish this off. You know, time, who needs... Hey, a three star is a three star, right? I'm not I'm not racing against those esports teams to be a 60 second triple. You know, you get it done and we do have the lead by a star. So if they forget to attack... We can't win. And war number three did indeed end, and we got the loss. They ended up getting a two-star in their final attack with an 85%. If I get three-star, guarantee a victory. So, the pressure is on. I need to triple this. And of course, I got my fireball. All right, so. The plan is to drop the warden down here to hit the eagle artillery. If we could take out the eagle, look at all that value right through there, including the monolith. So we could go one earthquake here and then another earthquake here to kill that. And if the queen just happens to walk right here, bam, we take the queen down as well. So even better. So if I drop the warden right here, 
I let him walk and kind of grab these buildings. I can send some rocket loons to snipe this. I can send rocket loons to snipe that, snipe that. And then I can go invis just in case. You know, that's kind of like an insurance over there. I don't think it would fly there, but you know, you never know. But I'll drop uh, probably an invis right here. On, er, I mean, if I want to be safe, I'm going to go invis this, invis that. So that's one, that's two. Then this is three, and then that's four. Eagle, we target. It's the safer route. And I don't need to save extra invises. And then all of this goes down right through here and the monolith. And then we just make our way around the base like this and just casually just come across to the town hall. Just like that. Okay. So let's give it a shot. Here we go. Can't. We, we need the fireball. If we don't, that would be a problem. All right. Let's go. Some rocket loons like this, rocket loons like that. Aha, a Tesla farm pops. All right, so. Okay, ooh, a full on Tesla farm. Ooh, a tornado trap, hello. Let's take you down. All right, so, Warden's going this way, so I'm gonna go boom, 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 and Warden. Do that. Perfect. Okay, I didn't end up using the invis on the far left side, which is fine. All good. So, Warden continues right through here. Let's drop the queen so we don't waste any time. Wall break. Let's get the king. Oh, king siege barracks. Some root riders. A couple regular balloons right through here. And there we go. Okay, so they're going to path their way through that way. Drop an archer right here. Drop a headhunter onto this enemy RC. So we... Okay, never mind. You keep making your way that way. Drop a headhunter here. And the king ability will have to pretty much go off. I'm going to try to freeze up this stuff right here. King's ability goes off there. Continue. Make you invisible. Go ahead and drop a rocket loon into the core, maybe to pull some red air bombs. Oh, pull some seeking air mines. That works. Let's go drop a rage, drop an RC. I probably don't even need the RC to be honest. And there we go. So this should be at least a victory in this match here. Let's see. Queen ability won't need to really be used. I guess I'll force the queen ability there. Skips across, drop a wall break. Drop a wizard, and there we go. We can go ahead and even use that last rage right over top of that enemy queen. Take her down, and it is going to be a three-star. Can I take it down without killing off the enemy RC? Oh, oh, oh. Oh, no, I did take her down, but all right. There we go. The value was crazy. I did see that Grand Warden altar at the last moment of like, wait, I might be targeting that, so good thing I made that invisible. And for war number five, we just have to get a single star in this match as we're going to win, so not too much pressure is on me. And again, we're gonna continue with this. And we're gonna try to see if we can, I don't wanna jinx myself, I don't wanna say it. You, you know what I was about to say. But either way, um, I'm gonna drop the warden over on this side of the base, why? Because I wanna hit the monolith, I wanna grab the clan castle. I don't wanna deal with the CC. There's a lot around the base, but it's around the base. Meaning what I could do is if I drop the warden here, he's going to walk, snipe these buildings. I can rocket loon this. I can go with an invis one, invis two, and then I can invis three so that the warden fireball fly to hit the monolith. And we take all this down with the earthquakes. And then we could try to pull the warden this way. Maybe wall break into here, have the queen reach over the wall, and then wall break out of here. And then we continue around with the root riders, king, siege barracks to the top side. And then we just, and then uh, the root riders should open up the wall to here uh, and then make our way around. And if it doesn't, we'll just send our royal champion in to go into the core and uh, kind of go like that. So, yeah, that's the plan. Okay, so we just need a single star and we're good. Okay, so we'll just drop the warden right about. Here, Mr. Warden, Rocket Loons. Oh, double seeking air mines. Hello. Okay, Warden's gonna grab this, get the invis ready. That's going down. One more shot, and Warden steps up. 
Invis, 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 invis. Boom. All right. I actually don't need two. I can make this invis and I can rage up the warden. All right. So if I could take out this ground expo and the multi arch tower, you know what? I'd rather take out the, that and then I'll drop the queen right here to help snipe wall break so we can wall walk in okay you're going down and we'll wall break the queen out of here okay trying to rocket loon scatter shot here okay let's go with the king siege barracks okay that queen's taking a lot of damage so we're gonna go with an ice golem here electro titan okay some root riders now we're going to drop some of you. All right. Now we're going to push our way through. King is going here. Okay. Let's go and drop Earthquake through here. Let's go Freeze. Let's go Rage. As we continue right around, Rocket Loons like this. And the Queen will be able to reach over anyways. Pop the King ability. Spiky Ball. Flies through. Queens take out the town hall. Easy enough. Okay, they broke the town hall. And they're going for this. Valk's coming around. Uh, let's see. We got a healer's pulling some red air bombs. Queen's ability goes off there. We can drop raw champ down here. And we're just going to continue our way through. Drop a wizard right on like that. Drop a rage for this RC. Pop the RC ability, move our way on through, and there we go. It's a three-star. RC helped finish it off. And yeah, so we're definitely, obviously, we just needed a single star to win this one here. Get the three stars. And this keeps my streak going now. Five for five here in the CLB. Now we're taking on war number six. And uh, I'm going to go up against a friend of mine, Rootkit. And uh, we're going to see what we could do course with this fireball there's not much time remaining and if we take a look at the score we're down by one so they haven't had the best war neither have we but at least i just have the two star to win this one but of course i'm not going for just the two i'm gonna go with a warden over here and i'm thinking if i well unless i go here i guess but then I'll be in range of this monolith soon. So I'm rather go warden here. So then I step into this storage and it kind of keeps me from walking the monolith too quickly. And then I can rocket loon this. Uh, I have the warden take out that. I can go uh, rocket loon this air defense. We can go invis this. And this goes down, that goes down. There's probably Teslas here. So I'll have to rocket loon through here. But if there's not, I just rocket loon these guys. And then I go with an invis here. I go with an invis here, and then from this angle, uh, I'll probably do one more invis here. The warden will then hit the eagle. We can double earthquake and take that all down. We can actually just drop one earthquake here, and then the other earthquake here should take out the monolith, and then we just move our way around the base like so, or the other side. One of these two. Like this. Bam. Oh, there's a lot of balloon. Oh, good thing I didn't send the... Okay. I see. Take out that Tesla while we're at it. All right. All right, Warden, where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? Let's drop a wizard here. Okay. Go to the air defense. All right, so now we're taking out the Royal Champ. I'm waiting. Just waiting. I'm going to be patient here. Okay, now we can go... Uh, invis, 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 invis. Boom, boom. Take all that down. Perfect. Drop another healer, a rocket loon. Can I drop my queen? No, if I drop my queen, she'll get pulled that way. So, warden, just take you down. And then drop the queen up here. Drop the king up here. Siege barracks. Uh, some root riders. Okay, Barb King is going that way. Let's drop an Ice Golem, Electro Titan, a couple more balloons as well. And we can wall break you, I guess. Headhunter into that. And the King ability will have to be forced here soon. 
Let's go freeze up this. King ability skips. Rage. Right into here. Let's go with an invis like so. Taking out that town hall. We got the enemy queen down south. Queen's arrow. Drop the royal champ to this side. Valkyries are running. Alright. I've got some spells, obviously. My queen is dead. Let's see if we rage up these healers to kind of tank a little bit more. It's not the cleanest hit. Taking over two minutes. What is this? A two minute attack in Clash of Clans is nonsense, right? Drop another rage. Pop the RC ability, and there we go. Moving on through. RC will finish that off. And I don't need this last invis. Bam! Always put the invis or your swag spell on top of the clan castle. So there we go. Taking out yet another base, which means that uh, I have one more attack to do. That's six for six so far. It's war number seven, and we are going for something in particular. I don't want to jinx it, so uh, yeah, I'll let you guys uh, put the two and two together. Here's the plan. We only got about 12 minutes left, and this is the base. We're going to be bringing the fireball here. <sighs> Take a deep breath. So my plan is to hit this monolith with the fireball. So I want to have my warden up top. And if I drop Rockalins here, I may pull out the clan castle. I don't know what's in it. My guess is probably ice golems. But uh, so if I drop Rockalins here, we'll see if I pull out the CC a little bit. Uh, and then we can go invis this. We can invis this. We could, if if I drop here and I pull out a CC and it's like I, ice golems don't come out, then I could drop rocket loons here and then I only have to use one invis. Otherwise, I'll have to use one invis here, a second invis here. I'll have to use, um, I'm going to try to rocket loon these and see what happens. There might be tassels that pop up here, but I might have to go like uh, another invis, so a third invis. And then I could go actually go rocket loons here and use this invis to help funnel for me. So this will become all invis. So that's one less invis I have to use. And then I go fourth invis right here. And then the warden fireball hits this and I take all that down. And then we could continue after this invis is gone to this side around the base. I could wall break into here for the king. So he goes and grabs that. Siege barracks to this side goes and grabs that. And then I push the main right through the town hall with the root riders and things like that as I make my way around the base. Uh, so we go one, two, three here all right do we pull out a cc ah we have a whole tesla farm over here so okay so we got archers archers and archers okay good ward in here we got a lot of teslas okay i'll drop one rocket loon like this okay now the rocket loons here to activate that invis Invis, invis, invis. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I made that warden. I made that invisible. No, no, no. I gotta shoot. Okay, warden. I'm just gonna have to hit this. Oh, I made. Oh, okay. I took that out. All right, all right. We're gonna have to work our way through it. King, siege barracks. Okay, warden's dead. Okay, all right. That's a problem. Drop the queen here. Uh, wall break you. Wait, I didn't drop the siege barracks. What is going on here? What is going on? Headhunter. Let's go Electro Titan here. Okay. Pop the king ability. Oh no. Oh no. Uh, I accidentally made the monolith invisible. Another headhunter. Okay, we're going to go like this. We're going to rage. We're going to freeze this town hall. Hang on. Hang on. Just believe. Just believe. Let's go invis down here to activate that, maybe. Damage, 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 dam- Nope, still didn't. Okay. Valkyrie's coming out of here. We can try to wall break here. Continue to rage up this queen. Come on, I need that invis to the bottom side to get activated. Wait, I can activate with the queen arrow. There we go. Okay. Now send the RC to the bottom side. Come on. Rage up the RC. We got Electro Titan to the bottom. Okay, not a pretty attack here. Come on, Queen. Hang on. Okay, there we go. The Electro Titan's doing some nice work of tanking. There we go. We get through the scatter. Come on. Come on. Oh, Queen's staying alive. 
Okay. Pop RC ability now since the since that scatter shot is distracted onto the queen. Drop a wizard here. Oh boy, 30 seconds. Come on, RC, save the day. We gotta drop a, a wizard to this top side since RC is going that way and Oh man! <laughs> That was a uh, bad, bad. Okay, that fireball was... I don't know where that fireball would have went. So that's why I had to recalculate it. And yes, let's go. We go perfect. There we go. Oh my, the pressure. Whew. Let's take a look at the season. 21 star. 7 for 7. And Vicky, look at that. 699. And OJ right there, which is zero cools, uh, coming in with 698. One and two buildings differential for them. But I get that perfect CWL. Let's go. But either way, hopefully you guys did enjoy this video here across the board. And remember, if you enjoy these videos, make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.